Ryan, today is September 17th, the day we vow to love each other until death do us part, the day we will celebrate for the rest of our lives. As I sit here and write this letter, I am in disbelief that this day is finally here. These past eight years have been an absolute dream, and today is only a new chapter. There is no more you and I, only us. You are my heart, my soulmates, and my best friend forever. I can't wait to see you at the other end of the aisle. Love yours truly, Kelsey. I said I wouldn't cry today. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh man. Today is a celebration of love and commitment. We are all here because we want to support Kelsey and Ryan and celebrate their two families becoming one. If you are here today, it's because Kelsey and Ryan are grateful you are in their lives and they want to share this singular moment with you. You balance one another perfectly and while each of you are tremendous individuals on your own, together you are even better. And being better together ultimately leads us to being here today, witnessing your commitment to one another in front of the people in your lives that love you the most. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Kelsey, I have loved you for almost eight years now. Who would have thought that the girl I met heading into my final year of undergrad at a college party on Fraternity Row at San Jose State University <laughs> would later become my wife? You have become my best friend and better half. I am so happy that our hearts found each other when they did. I admire how much you prioritize your family and value your friends. I love the fire that you bring. Your attitude is fierce and you have the energy that can light up a room. I promise to put our love first and I vow to create a home where we will raise and become our own family along with Charlie and Arthur. I will love you whether we're rich or poor, healthy or sick, in youth and in old age. You are my life partner, and I cannot wait to see what life has in store for us. From this moment on, with you by my side, I promise to always live by these vows. I pledge to hold these promises dear to my heart for the rest of my life. I love you, Kelsey, and it will always be you. Today is the day I've been waiting for my entire life. I never thought I would meet someone who lets me be unapologetically me. As I took a moment to reflect on the last eight years, there are so many moments that helped us get us to where we are today. This journey, this adventure that we're on, has already challenged us as a couple to work through hardships and obstacles and to become stronger in communication and our commitment and to our love. And this is only the beginning, baby. <laughs> you are truly my best friend, the one I run to when I have news to celebrate and the one I vent to when something goes wrong. I've found that we balance each other out in all the right ways. You truly complete me. Your patience is one of your best qualities because we all know I don't have any. But above all, you make me and the dogs so happy. I promise to never give you a hard time about how many fantasy leagues you're in. I promise to watch all the YouTube videos on the Niners, UFC, Jiu Jitsu, and all the others until we're old and wrinkly. Okay, but in all seriousness, whatever happens in our life, I vow to listen to you when you don't feel heard. I vow to always love you. I vow to be your cheerleader. I vow to celebrate your successes and your failures. I vow to always work at us. I vow to be there for you even on our worst days. I vow to be logical and give you the truth, even if that's something that you don't want to hear. And lastly, I vow to never stop loving you as I do today, Mushu. Today, Ryan Nagia, I give you my hand, my heart, my love, always and forever, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. <laughs> and it goes without saying that, Kelsey, you're the only one that has brought out the best in Ryan. You're the only one that can bring out the best in all your friends. You're truly incredible. And honestly, like, it's really weird when you recognize true happiness in your best friend. You, you start to notice, like, this, this tranquil sense. And you see that Ryan is just, like, super happy every time he's around you. Those that know our family know that we are also all up in each other's business and have no problem 
offering our unsolicited opinions. So the idea of introducing a new significant other to the family can be a bit daunting. But when Kelsey first told me about Ryan, there was just something about the spark and excitement in her voice that just told me that he was different. She made me believe that he was special and that he was the one. Kelsey and Ryan, it is with such joy that I now send you out into the world to spread the beautiful light that you share with those around you. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> a lifetime of memories and many, many bowls of ramen to come. Yeah.